What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. Hope you're having a good day. I'm doing a reaction to the real deal. I mean, Tyler Childers is just... <laughs> Every so often, an artist comes along, or what, a basketball, like, you know, whatever, football, just they don't... Not don't... Dominate, yes, but that's not the right word for Tyler. They just come, and you're like, Oh my God, I'm so glad I'm alive at this point in history because he's doing what he's doing. Tyler is a blunt force instrument. His lyrics are like a scalpel. They just hit this sliver of life just precisely. And the dude is unabashedly himself. Yeah, so uh, this is an interview and then he's going to play his song, Matthew. I don't know it. And I was requested by Charles Maynard. So Charles, thank you for this. So let's get after this thing. And I stop it once in a while. Not a lot. It's not excessive. But I make some comments and then we move along. So let that be a lesson or a warning. Put it that way. If you don't like songs being stopped, just go to the artist channel and click on it there. And there's no comments. Here we go. I love these settings. Oh, a cactus. They hurt. Works night shift at the depot with a pistol in light, and he guards them rusty missiles, counting white tail past the time, and he's worked there for a long while since he came home from overseas, helping kill corn, fight the good fight. Bring back that hurts knees, and it was hotter than a mountain, but it worked so it couldn't stand, and it worked so much the heat wave, nearly as much as all the sand. Uh. Wow. He doesn't waste words, Tyler. Now his daddy, he's a log man with a good leg and a fake that he got off of a buddy and a shit shot that he made. And he worked them hands of splinters and he raised them young and dry on a little bit of scripture and an acreage paradise and he go out on the weekends and he play like Clarence White if Clarence had had a real job and picked the guitar there's time The, I, the details, I just, man, I so appreciate and hope you do too. The details that he puts into his songs with virtually no words attached. Like even just the choice of the word paradise when, when he said on his little, uh, I think it like raised the kids on a little bit of scripture and uh, an acre of paradise. The fact that he chose that word paradise instead of on an acre of land, on an acre of hills, but he said on an acre of paradise. And that is a world of interpretation right there. That could be a cynical view of what he had. Maybe the guy really loved the land that he was on. It, or maybe it, it wasn't insinuating any of that. But that choice of word right there, that's not normal intellect or insight into how to say something that's just like in a league of its own yeah Keeps 
trap line in the winter Keeps the line wet in the spring On the lock wall Fishing muskie With his eldest and Steve And they swap tales about the racing And they tell the awful slides And go home they the notion and the muskie quit to bite me. It's got three word sentences. That's the structure. Every thought, three words. Uh, my name's Tyler Childers, and uh, I'm here playing some country music from Hillbilly Rock or whatever you want to call it, I guess. I called the album Purgatory um, because, well, I got, I've, I've got the song on there, it's called Purgatory, but also uh, a lot of those songs I wrote uh, after I got out of high school, um, between the time of 19 and uh, 27, which is now, um, I, I wrote that in that time. Uh, between odd jobs and, and playing at bars back home and crashing on couches and you know it was it was a weird middle point in life that sometimes felt like purgatory. Uh, the whole message of the, of the album it's more of a narrative um, semi-autobiographical about myself about that time in my life really? uh, between you know leaving my parents house and having to to find my own place um, and the honoriness that I've found my own self in and uh, you know fallen in love and and that being almost like a like washing away a lot like a baptism in, in a sense or, or a purging of all the bad things um, so it's it, it's also a love story uh, for my wife I had a buddy, a really good buddy of mine, John R. Miller, uh, who's just came out with an album called uh, "The Trouble You Follow," and uh, he's he's badass. But he told me one time, he said, uh, "You've got to write all the songs, even the bad ones. You got to finish them, and just get them out, complete them, and then see what they sound like from there." And oh. uh, and some, so sometimes I'll I may have a line that I like, but I have nothing to do. Nothing I, I know to do with it, so I'll hold on to it in wherever, and uh, then four months later, I could come up with a melody, like just whistling, like, oh, oh man, that would be cool with this line from three months ago, and then, you know, weld the two together and see where it goes. Yeah. If I like it, then it, then I'll sing it, you know. I usually once I once I write a song, I'll, I'll listen to it, I'll record it, and I'll listen to it, you know, for a whole day, and just think about it. And if by the end of the day I'm just tired of it, you know, I usually scrap it because yeah. if I can't even get through a whole day of listening to it, then surely I can't go the next God knows how long singing it every yep. day. <laughs> so, and I appreciate y'all having me. It's it's been a blast, and everybody's been extremely nice to me and and the guys and. It's been fun. Well, that was good stuff right there. I'm not going to rate that. I just, that is what it is. It, you know, those of you who don't know Tyler just got introduced a bit to him. I just learned some things about him too. But, you know, if you're, I've done 10 or 12 of his songs, something like that. So you could just go into the search bar on, on the uh, channel and it's a little, magnifying glass kind of toward the upper right not totally upper right but there and that'll you click on that and then you just type in like tyler or childers or whatever and it'll bring up every song i've done with you know his name in it and anyone else named tyler too first or last name but uh that's it charles maynard thank you for that my friend that was really good stuff and um, the folks who put this video together, that was thank you too. That was really good stuff. So there you go. All right, guys, that's it.
Have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country.